Okay guys, so let's get set for an upper body workout. Let's rotate our wrists. So guys, our wrist rotation is very important especially during our upper body exercise because as you know, most of the workouts that we do, we have pressure going on on our wrists, okay? So let's loosen them out. Let's take some time and really mobilize this part. Now for our elbows, let's throw. Let's give me some throwing moments. Do it with some force guys. I want your elbows to also release. Keep your knees bent slightly. Soft bend. And breathe. Okay, now rotate our shoulders. So when you're coming forward, I want your elbows to join. And when you're going behind, I want your wrists to join. Okay? So you're giving yourself a nice big expansion here of your chest as well as your shoulders. Go slow if you have to, but make sure your wrists join behind. Okay? Then your chest really expands. And keep breathing. Let's do it the other way around. Three more times. Okay. Now I want you to put one hand on your hips, the other hand straight, and let's turn. We can do five times on either side. Okay, now let's change your hand. Right hand on the hip, left hand ahead, and twist. It's just a gentle twist for our spine, guys. Do not put any force on it. Okay, so now I want you to bend down, take your hand in front of you, and pull. Okay? So you're holding your hands right in front of you, perpendicular to the floor, and pull. Now, once you're up, I want you to stretch your chest again. Okay? So pull. We are squeezing our scapula behind. We are squeezing our shoulder blades behind. And then we are expanding our chest. So squeeze and expand. Squeeze and expand. Come on. If you can bend forward even more, make sure your back remains straight. Okay? You don't do this. Keep your back upright. Straight, okay, your spine is completely straight and then you can bend till your whole chest is balanced to the floor and do the same exercise. It's just a warm up guys, please do not skip it. Okay, now stand up and I want you to give me some runs. Keep your arm and your wrist. This elbow over here should be, this elbow joint should be at 90 degrees. Even if it's behind, 90 degrees, even when it's up. And keep breathing guys. Knees soft. Put that music on if you want to. Guys, after the warm-up, I'll turn off comments so that you can look at the form of all the exercises, okay? Okay, now give me some punches. Punch. While you're punching, I want you to engage your core. Keep that core really tight, okay? And pretend that there's an imaginary bag or punching bag or any person you don't like. Right in front of you and punch with some force. Now let's punch to the side. And to the other side. Okay. Let's do some slow jogging on the spot. So guys, we're heading to some cardio. Just for a couple of minutes. Like I said, we have to warm up our body before we start with an intense workout. Okay? So we are just warming up our body. Get that 
you know, heart racing, get that blood rushing, get the sweat trickling, get that face smiling, and let's warm it up. Just like jogging jacks. Okay, now jumping jacks. Once again, who's not comfortable with a jumping jack? This is what you will do. Yes? Come on. And breathe. Oh my god, you know, and struggle to even pick up 
a glass. So this is what I mean by daily functioning. Bend down, pick it up. Go here, jump off the bed. That's what it all helps in. Guys, five more seconds. Give me one more, guys. Just give me one more. And done. Don't take more. Don't, don't sit that water, guys. And don't take a break. Let's go on a full plank again. I want some shoulder taps. Okay? So you're going to go on a full plank. Once again, shoulder, wrist, and uh, sorry, so, sorry, shoulder, elbow, and wrist are all in the same line. Okay? For those who want a modified form, go on your knees. Do not need to do a full plank. For the rest, you need to be on a full plank. And then what I want to do is just tap your shoulder. Just tap. This is what you're going to do. But you have to make sure, guys, that you do not sway your hips. So this is what we tend to do, which is wrong. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what is wrong now. This, this is wrong, guys. Okay, I repeat, it's wrong. Make sure you don't sway those hips from one side to the other. We will tend to do it because we're releasing one hand off the ground. So I will release, say, the left hand. We tend to sway the right. So it's very important that you make sure your hips and your entire body is still. The only thing moving are these hands to tap your shoulders. Okay, let's go. Guys, if you need to be on your knees for the modified version, do that. The rest of you, let's go. One minute, guys. Your feet can be shoulder with distance, okay, or hip with distance. Make sure you're comfortable in the plank position first and then do this. If you're tending to sway, Try to separate your feet. Okay, increase the distance between your feet if you're still swaying. That will give you more stability. So once again, many women tend to say, oh, I don't want to do chest exercises because that might expand my chest. I might look like a man. I might become manly. I know, many of you don't. But I know some women who avoid chest exercises for this reason. Let me tell you guys, Do not stop while I'm explaining the form. 
and we're going to do three circuits. First two circuits, we repeat twice. Come on, let's go for down two. We're inch walking, right? Let's go. And then we're touching our toes. Let's try and go for some speed, guys. Come on. <laughs> Done this once. The second time should be here. Yeah? Okay, that's nothing, right? So from tomorrow onwards, like I said, it's $40.99. If all you guys have been enjoying these sessions with me, do enroll. You can call me. My number is available. Uh, you have my WhatsApp number. You have, you can ping me anytime you want. Yes. And uh, for the rest who have already registered, uh, just a little call or, uh, you know, I will connect with you uh, in maybe on a Saturday or so. Because uh, there are certain things that I need to speak to you about. So expect my call, okay? Because uh, I need you to have more props. Because we're going to take this to another level, right? But don't worry. All these uh, props are available at home. For example, a cushion. Like last time we had water bottles. So all these props that I ask you uh, to keep ready, they will be available at home, okay? Also, I need to understand what challenges you face. Whether you have a lower back problem, knee problem, whether you have a strong upper body, whether you want to focus on your belly, 
all of those little little things uh, that basically your challenges your issues so while i'm also designing my workout for uh, the next uh, week and the next month i'm keeping all those things in mind okay so this 10 10 day program was uh, obviously keeping everyone in mind but this will be keeping all you guys who register with me in mind so that i can address your problems uh, also i would like to tell you what to eat specifically before our workout what to have immediately after our workout so you also get maximum benefits of the entire one month session that we have together okay so uh, make sure so expect my call or i will connect with you either on instagram or on whatsapp those of you who have shared your number and remember i am available at any time so guys i know some of some of you say 7:45 am is either too late or too early but remember the igtv videos will also be available for those who subscribe with me on my private channel yes so uh, it doesn't matter what time you are what time zone you are you know many of you have been accessing my igtv and uh, doing it in the night because of the time difference etc and getting the same experience right so uh, don't lose this opportunity let's uh, work out together and those who are interested and feel that their friends can benefit from it please do tag them yes it's only 12.99 till today till tonight yeah all right uh, anything else that you would like me to address any other questions i've written down some questions that you know many of you have posed uh, it's again right up to uh, reduction of either belly fat and you know uh, 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 double chin etc so i know most of you have that problem and we are going to address that as well okay so on that note i think it's already a minute so let's get back to a circuit too okay guys you need your mask for this uh those who can go on a full plank please go ahead this one um i would uh think the modified version would go for most of us so i'll show you the modified version okay So we are going to go on a table top. Get our hands like a diamond. Okay, so this way. So our palms are going to be like a diamond. If the diamond is making you feel uncomfortable, you can spread your hands out. That's not a problem. But it should not be wide. Okay, it has to be spread, but still keeping in mind the width between the two palms. Keep it as close as possible. But make sure you are, you are comfortable. So once we are here, we try to keep like our fingers in a diamond shape. Okay, our body in this angle, right? Like I'm showing you, with our spine straight. Yes, and then we're going to do a push up. So when you come down, I want your chest to come next to your hands. Okay, so your chest, your hands are not in the front, and you're getting up not like that, right? It's going to be close to your chest when you're going up and down. Now try. Once you get your chest, yes, you get this distance. Now you bring your hands as close to each other as possible. So guys, here again, we're working on our arms, not on our chest. That's the reason we're getting it closer. If we take it wider, it's our chest that's working out. But I want us to work out on our arms now. All right, let's go, guys. One minute. Let give you a few seconds to get the position. Yes. So this is the position. Come down. You can cross your legs, keep them straight. You can also go on foot plank and do this. That's also not a problem. That's even get better because that's progressing, right? So let's go. One, guys, time to start it. Let's go. Keep breathing. As you come up, I want to hear you breathe. Do that, guys. If you can't do this, let yourself free. Go down on the mat completely. Yes. Then put your hands next to your chest. and give yourself that push and come up go down completely let your hands loose put it next to your chest and come up you can do that either come on let's go 20 more seconds guys just 20 more seconds
you have to do it very slowly. Okay, now let's go for the next one. I want you to stand straight, legs apart, okay? Go for a squat, yes. Go for a squat, knees pointing out in the same direction as the toes, but not going ahead. Once we get this position, hands out. Remember last time, we are moving our hands like this. This time we are going to just rotate, okay? Rotate our entire arm. So let's go, hands out. You can keep them in a fist if you want to, and rotate. Let's do anti-clockwise and clockwise for a minute. Okay, go. So guys, again, this appears to be a very small movement, okay? We may not sweat much, but guys, if you're into sports, okay, if you're a parent, your arms, you know how important your arms are. I don't need to say that. Even if you're not into sports and you just like to go down and play occasionally with your friends, okay, whether it's a game of tennis or football, etc. Every game, whether it's football or basketball, your arms are still important. When you're running, we're moving our hands as well. You can't run like that, right? Yes? So our arms are important, guys. So this may appear to be a small movement. Let's change direction, guys. Now clockwise. But it's very important for our arm strength. Okay? Now don't focus on keeping our arms on top. You have to keep your arms on top. You're not going to relax them, okay? You're going to keep rotating them till I say the time is up. Okay, so don't think about it. Put, you know, if your music is on in the background, think about that. And we keep chatting with you. Start your mind is off your hands. Okay? So let's go, guys. Let's fire up, guys. Let's fire up. This exercise is going to bring a big, big glow onto your skin. It's going to make you positive. It's going to, going to make you optimistic. And I'm going to be Awesome. So you're done. 
with circuit two. Sip some water. We'll have a 20 second break. Yes, I will turn off the comments so that you can focus on the exercise and you can see the form clearly, okay? And as soon as the circuit is over, we're done with two circuits, right? We'll take a, one, a break for one minute. Please shoot me with all those questions. Okay, let's go. We're doing the push-up by trying to keep our hands like this or like this. Okay, whatever you're comfortable with. Be on your knees or go down completely. Let's try. Okay, or you can even start off with the full plank, then go to the modified and then go full down. Okay, and progress or advance either way. Okay, or go down to the modified from the progress form. But we do not stop the momentum. That is the key, guys. Let's go. Okay, diving and go down. Your elbows are not facing to the sides, but backwards, okay? Go down to the knees if you need to. We're only doing this for 30 seconds, guys. Come on. When you're coming up, exhale. Exhale as you exert. Go down if you want to. Okay, if you need that break, go down completely and rise up. I know you must be feeling the strain in your hand. Go down. Release and come up. Do that, but don't stop. Eight more seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, let's not stop. Let us go straight into the plank and walk up and down with the hands. Legs apart. Okay, shoulder over the wrist and let's go. Walk. Last time we did our right hand. So let's walk with the left hand first. Rise up with the left hand, then a right, left again, and right. Don't sway your hips. Fifteen more seconds, guys. Just a few more seconds. Those who want the modified form, go on your knees. Do the same thing, but do not, guys, make sure your hips do not sway. And make sure your back. Some of us 
our excited because of all the time we have with our family, all the time we have to keep ourselves fit, yes? But some of you I know, you know, uh, probably if you're staying home alone or, you know, uh, can, and cannot go out, you need that mental uh, equilibrium, right? You need something to make you more positive and optimistic. So th the last circuit, I'm going to try to put in a little bit of those. Okay, and of course our stretches is also a great reliever, not only for all our muscles, also for our mind. Okay, it's also for our mind. So when I'm saying breathe in a certain way, you know, do things in a certain way, please, you know, do that. Focus on all of those things. All right, guys, on that note, let's go for the last circuit. So turning off comments. Hi guys, thanks for joining. A big wave to all of you too. Let's go. Okay, so this one, I'm going to bring my mat a little closer. Okay, so this one uh, is going to be for our ass as well as our chest and our arms, okay? So what I want you to do is again, go on a foot plank. If you want to go on your knees, go on your knees, okay? But if you can, please do go on a foot plank. Now, all I want you to do is run from side to side. That's it. Just run. One step at a time. Run and back and run. So you're forming a semi-circle, but you're running fast. And keep that ab tightened, okay? I want you to tighten it as hard as possible. If you hold it, you should feel the tightness, all right? You should feel that impact of doing this exercise with the engagement of your core, okay? Because that's gonna make a big difference. All right, let's go guys. I'm going to put the timer right in front of me, which flew away with my mat. Okay, one minute on the clock. Let's go, guys. Go on the on, on your knees. You can do this. Okay, go side to side with one knee at a time. The rest, let's go, guys. Let's go. Run, run to the side. Keep that core engaged. Keep the back neutral. Keep that neck neutral. Okay, shoulders over the knees. Shoulders, sorry, over the wrists. And let's go. Full semi circles, guys. Go right behind. And right in the front. Don't go like this, guys. Don't go like this. Don't keep your legs. Just close your hands and go from side to side. I want to see that full circle. So you're going right behind and right close to your hands. Come on. Go down, don't go 
knees first unless you cannot manage to do this then you go your knees first otherwise go down parallelly once you do this i want you to lift your body up just your chest up okay now you are putting all the stretch on your lower back once you do this i want you to go and make yourself into a triangle right so once you're here make sure your heels are down your shoulders your shoulders are away from your ears as far as possible and you look down as far as possible then you come up again to a plank bring the right leg back in front once again guys your right leg is here both your hands on the inner side of the right leg always make sure your hands are always on the same side and which is the inner side of the leg okay inner side of the foot once you're here we come back on top we stretch try to stretch as far as possible if you can touch your head to your knees that's great come back on top breathe in breathe out and give me a namaste yeah so we're going to do it one more time with the other leg slowly and then we'll repeat it twice a little bit of speed by you should get the counts okay so namaste up go down forward fold put your left leg behind both your hands on the inner side of your right foot put the other leg behind come into a plank go down with your full back body parallel to the floor bend your back rise up your chest stretch your chest towards the sky okay let's go into an inverted v so guys this is also for a downward dog okay once we're here get our left leg back again next to our hands both our hands on the inner side of our body bring the uh, uh, right leg back in front touch your head to our knees if possible and go up join our hands okay so guys i hope you got the count i will sorry but we'll try and go a little faster this time just two more and we're done and we start off our stretches join our hands up forward fold right leg behind left leg behind parallel to the floor chest up inwardly right leg in the front left leg in the front rise up join our hands once again join our hands up forward fold left leg behind right leg behind parallel to the floor chest up inwardly left leg in the front joints up and down guys let's do one more time a little faster just once more a little faster this time join up down right behind left behind down chest up right up left leg in the front right leg in the front up and back once again up down left leg behind right leg behind go down chest up inverted v left leg be in the front right joints rise up and join we're done okay guys so i'm turning on the comments okay so for those who find the surya namaskar very easy this is the side version many easy but guys this is what i was saying has immense uh benefits for our internal well being okay it's known to do benefits for our sugar levels uh sleeplessness i was saying right insomnia we feel uh, like twisting and turning in our beds the entire night we don't get sleep do a couple of surya namaskars guys it's very beneficial anxiety depression it helps to detox okay these are i mean like i said you know sometimes we cannot phantom the amount of benefits small exercises can give us okay we always need to take care of our well being yes looking toned and strong and having those defined arms and abs very very essential but our internal well being what we feel out here okay that's even more important to have a smile on your face to feel optimistic and positive energized through the day that's what's 
as important too as well, right? Okay, now let's go to our stretches before we sign out. Come on. Okay, so I'm trying to be a little closer, but not too close. So you can see all the stretches. Have a sip of water, guys. We'll take a few sips of water. Take some jets. And we'll start off. So, uh, guys, so all of you, uh, you know, who do not want to exercise much, for whatever reason, you've just gone through a surgery or, you know, you don't have the strength yet. Let's start off with a warm-up and stretches at least. Especially the stretches, guys, that we do is very beneficial for our entire shoulder, back, knees, all of it. So do not, not exercise at all. Do at least some part, okay? All right. So first, we will interlace our hands. So let's take our hands apart. Get them together here. Turn our palms upside down, right? So now our right hand is on top of our left hand. Once we do this, let's join them. Okay? Once you've got this position, I want you to rise your hand as high as possible. I'll show you a side angle as well. Okay, I want you to rise your hand as high as possible and turn your back behind and breathe in. Take a deep inhale, guys. Inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to round your back and bring your chin to your chest. Keep up back. 
back straight and bring our left hand to our right knee. Now let's inhale and straighten and lengthen our backs, our spine, our vertebra should be stacked one on top of the other. And exhale and twist and turn to look behind your right shoulder. Once again, inhale and strengthen and lengthen our backs. And exhale to twist a little more forward. Inhale again, lengthen our backs, crown of our head right on top. Use our right knee to give ourselves a little more twist while exhaling. Come back to center. Now I want you to take your hands in front of you, hold them like this and get them out this way. Okay, so you're interlacing your fingers first and pushing your palms outside in the front. And let's round our backs. Once again, rounding our backs and taking our chin to our chest.
lie down with our feet touching each other. So we are going to lie down like this. Okay? We are going to lie down with our feet, feet touching each other. Okay? So once we are touching each other, I want you to take your hands next to your hips and push. Okay? I want your whole spine to strengthen, straighten and lengthen. That's what we are doing. So once our feet are touching, get your hands onto your hips and pull and push. Push it downwards guys. Push it downwards to feel your whole back lengthening. Push and lengthen your back. Straighten that back. One vertebra over the other, stacking up. That's the kind of feeling and that's the kind of relaxation you need to feel. And keep breathing. Release. You can bring your hands towards each side of your legs. Breathe, deep inhale, and a longer exhale. Join our knees, come back to the side, rise yourselves up, and think of one good thing that you are going to keep in mind through the day. Hands to heart, and open your eyes. Please give some more for wrists. All right, we will do that. Okay, so for the next uh, uh, hand workout and upper body workout, we will focus on our wrists as well. All right, so remember, guys, all the upper body exercises that we are doing, we are also working out our wrists. It's a small, uh, uh, you know, joint, but it is also getting worked out. But yes, if you want to focus more on your wrist, we will do a little bit of more stretch as well as more mobility and some exercises for the wrist as well. Okay. Uh, on that note, guys, if you haven't signed up for Fire Up 4, please do it today. It's only at $12.99. Uh, you are going to enjoy that workout. You are going to see yourself progress. It's based on strengthening, endurance, toning. And of course, you know, I'm going to customize it even more towards your requirement. We're going to have that call. I'm accessible 24 hours on my mobile or on Instagram. You know, I always reply to all your messages in less than a day. So I'm looking forward to carrying on this journey with you. Tomorrow is the last day. I do want to see you over and over again. So please come back online and I will be with you tomorrow at 8.30 on the clock. See you guys.